at the voice of him who called and the house was filled with smoke and said war is i said war is me for i am lost for i'm a man of unclean lips and i dwell in the midst of people of unclean lips for my eyes have seen the king the lord of hosts then one of the seraphim threw having in his hand a burning coal and he touched my mouth and he said behold i've touched your lips your guilt is taken away and your sin atoned for. In verse number 8, I heard the voice of the Lord saying, Whom shall I send? Who will go to us? Then I said, Here I am, send me. Amina. This, this passage is in Isaiah chapter 6 and it should not be assumed that Isaiah was called in chapter 6 because when you read the life of Isaiah he was a full he was a full minister of the Lord by the time he got the experience in Isaiah chapter 6 but he was being fine tuned by God to do exactly what God had called him to do many of us are called but misplaced you understand what I'm talking about some of us have been called to be evangelists but we are busy doing something else. But somewhere in the process of time, God may fine-tune you to bring you exactly to what he has called you to do. And I get a supporting amen. Now, when you read from uh, Chronicles and Kings, you will find that the first life of Isaiah, he got preoccupied in writing the biography of King Uzziah. And he spent most of his early life writing the life of someone who was doing something for the Lord. I would say he was dissolved in writing the biography of Hosea. Because Hosea wasn't a bad man at all. It is only after some time that he strayed off the way of God. But the Bible says uh, about Isaiah that all the acts of Hosea from the beginning to the end, it is Isaiah who wrote. And it's not in scripture. So it means actually much of what Isaiah did in his beginning, the beginning of his ministry, was irrelevant but recorded. Are you with me? So now when we come to Isaiah chapter 6, we are seeing someone being contextualized, being put in the right, in the theme of things, being put on mulamwa. Amen. And the Bible says, in the year King Uzziah died, and I think it's easy to call it the two points there that when Uzziah's life ended, Isaiah lifted his eyes to see a bigger throne. He was seeing the throne of King Uzziah and King Uzziah was definitely serving God. But even when we are living in this life, we should focus to see beyond the thrones of the ministers of this world. Can I get a supporting amen? It is good to honor men of God. It's good to serve men of God. But above every ministry, there is a throne that commissioned us to do the will of God. Come on, I need support in this place. And so we should not stop at the throne of the minister. We should go beyond the small thrones of this world. And so Isaiah, his eyes were opened to see Almighty God. In his full capacity. Because he said, I saw the Lord high and exalted, seated on his throne. When we talk about the throne of God, it means we have reached the highest point. If after God, there is no promotion. After God, that's the end. In your place of work, you may be the boss, but still there is room in your heart. You say there is still a higher place above me. So in an organization, you can work get to the topest rank in the organization, but beyond that organization, there is still another rank where you can grow into. But when you get to the throne of God, it is sealed. That is the final place. That is the highest point. That's why we call him the most high God. Come on, give God the praise. So what is Isaiah saying? 
God, Isaiah is seeing God in his most high state. And when you read the Bible, you will see the incarnate God. You will see many different forms when God comes on the earth. But when God is seated on the throne, it is sending forth a message more than just the existence of God. But it means God is in his highest state. God seated on the throne. He is seated on the throne where power flows. He's reigning. He's ruling. He's omniscient. He's omnipotent. He fills the earth. Hallelujah. Ephesians 4.10 says, He who descended is the one who ascended above all heavens that he may fill all things. When Jesus is on the throne, he is not here and there. He is over. He is above. He is greater than all things. Can I get an amen in this house? So Isaiah Bagamba Nalaba Mukamanga today Kunamu Londo. A your state toja jira banyomu Bible. Ojakula katonda, na gende sodom negomara, o jamula bakumusalaba, o jamula bawa, na yewa ba to de kunamu londo, chitegezo buyin zabu wan nabu mungalozi. Hallelujah. And so when when we talk about the God who is enthroned, we are talking about optimum power. We are talking about the, the, the maximum, the best, the best you can be in. We are talking about omniscience, meaning that in this state, he, he, we assume all we know that he knows everything going on. Amen. In his state as an optimum God, he is an om, om, omnipotent God. He can do all things. Hmm? In that state, no disease, no poverty, nothing. In that state, he is supreme. In that state, he is sovereign. In that state, he is all-powerful. In that state, we assume he can do all things. Can I get an amen? But then in this vision, he is not only alone, he is having seraphs. Seraphs, seraph means fire. He is having a presence of angels who are in a fiery form. He's not seated in a cold room. He is on fire. Everything is on fire. There is ultimate worship. Amina. There is nothing showing weaknesses, a weakness and deficiency in this picture here. katonda. Omanyabamo, wobagamba, kubechifana ncha katonda bala bomuntu, omukate ngaline chirevwechi wamvu. Ancient of days, tired, relaxing, reclining. Eh? But there is nothing like that in this picture. This picture shows an all powerful reigning God with seraphs flying up and down, and they are saying He's holy, sanctified, all powerful. He's his presence fills the earth. Cut your ear. Majesty. Majesty means he is shown in the way he's dressing. When he's majestic, he dresses more than enough. His train fills, the train of his robe fills the temple. He sits abundantly. You know? He's not managing a, a, a mean budget on his clothes. He's self sufficient. Yahweh, Almighty, All Powerful, All You are seeing Him at His best. But you know, the, the, the dilemma is there. In God being at His best form, He utters something Isaiah does not expect. He says, Whom shall I send? I don't know, predicament. He's saying, All Powerful, all knowing there is an assignment which is not for me. There is an assignment which has to be done by human beings. And God in all his power is a God who delegates. And we know from scripture that the Bible says in Psalms 115 verse 16 that the heavens belong to God but he has given the earth to mankind. Which means much of the things which are happening here, though God is able to do everything, he is even able to give you money.
money without working, he will not do it because once you are on earth, the principles on earth involve human participation. Hallelujah. Even as I'm preaching now, it is God preaching, but it is because God will not preach, he will only preach through a human. Amen. So he, he, he owns everything. But the Bible says once we are in the human realm, this earthly realm, God does not exercise his omniscience and pre- omnipresence in this realm unless summoned to do so through prayer. Kadona sobolo kore bintu bingi na etajja bikolo kujja kongo sabye. Yagama temulina kubanga temusaba. Si kubange guru terina. Na ye temulina kubanga temukola chi. Echo chitabula umutwe. And you know, once you are a Christian who embraces the spirit of he did it all, it is finished, and so I cannot, I should not work, I should sit back and God does it for me. It's not there in scripture. Isaiah is seeing God in his optimum state and God is saying, I have a predicament. Who will go for us? There are some things God will not do which are already designated and given to us as our job descriptions. There are some things which will never come to earth unless you wake up and do them. There are some things God designated that you will do and unless you wake up and do them, they will never be done. And when you reach heaven, God will say, that was done and sealed, but you never executed it. You never executed it. So now we are seeing Isaiah in heaven, okay, catching the glimpse of heaven and the throne room that is, seeing the omnipresent, 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 omniscient, omnipotent God saying, whom shall I send? There are things God will not do for you. Now, the issues concerning the salvations of souls is not an only divine issue. It is a shared responsibility. For the people who are going to inherit the kingdom of God, we have a part to play. Come on, did I get support in that? And now we see in Matthew chapter 28, Jesus coming and he's saying, all authority in heaven and earth has been given to me. The next statement would have, mean, would have been, all authority in heaven and earth has been given to me, therefore you don't need to preach. Everyone is already saved. But after declaring that all authority has been given to him, he says, go, go and make disciples of all nations. That is Matthew 28 verse 18. There is authority. There is power in the office of a preacher. But there must be a preacher if that authority is to be exercised. Go therefore and make disciples of all nations, we are serving under the mandate of Christ. But the point is this. The point is, even when he is all-powerful, all-knowing, all-omnipotent, God is saying, I need someone to send. I need to send someone. And this work, remember, I don't know whether you have a New Living Translation, but in First Peter, First Peter chapter 1 and verse 10, First Peter chapter 1 verse 10, you see that angels would have wished, angels would have wished to preach, maybe let me read for it. It is revealed to them that they were not serving themselves but you. This is the old prophets. The, this gospel, Enjiri Jetuburida, Katonda, Yajibu Kudida Banabi, he revealed it to them and they searched it. They were serving not themselves but you in the things 
that have been announced to you through those who preach the good news and to you by the Holy Spirit sent from heaven things into which angels long to look. If the gospel won't be preached by angels, angels, I don't know, you remember when we used to sit in class doing exams and you don't want your neighbor to copy and you, you bend over your work. Angels want to be part of what we are doing. Angels want to preach the gospel. Angels would like to bring many to the Lord. But God says this thing. We are the ones who are supposed to preach the gospel. So issues concerning the gospel is hidden from angels. I believe one angel would have converted the entire village unto God. But when you, when you want a village to be converted, what the angel does is just to empower you and to arrange circumstances to bring the sinner in time that you may preach to him. Apart from that, the preaching of the gospel is a human responsibility. Did you hear me? So what do we see? We see in scripture, God in all his power, having a predicament. Chochi, echo mu theology chinene nyo kumanga, bocho gena bocho, muba theology ani, badja kuka yanya. Katonda, alina prayer request. Ela tujiraba, nemuluka, nemumatayu, nagamanti, musabe katonda, sindike, haba kuunguzi. Katonda, chizibu chesi harvest. Echizibuche harvesters. Are you with me? Kati, laba, mo glorious, this glorious vision. Angels singing, holy, 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 holy. The throne is lifted. Then God does not say, give me more praise, give me more worship. He says, who will go for us? Whom shall I send? Ask your neighbor. Are you ready to be sent by God? So the, the issue, the issue in heaven, the lingering problem in heaven is the availability of a witness. What God needs in heaven, he does not need your money, he does not need your cars, he does not need your houses, he needs a soul winner. Did I hear someone clap? God needs a soul winner. One woman who died in a hospital and was, was caught up in heaven and got, got a, a vision. He met the Lord, he says in, in her testimony, he met the Lord seated on the throne and he said, Lord, what can I give you? And the Lord told him, you would have given me souls, but you came empty handed. Kumanga katonda yetagachi. Onomuachi. Katonda chaya gala jemyoyo. Mukusinza kuno mutendo linolio na nechitiwe chari wo. Katonda yari afumi intilizanya na atugendela. Kankuburi do kuitibu akuri kubula mubwa fe. Kwe kuburi na enjiri. Yambu akabaka. Eliyama wanga gona wabaji origamba konti amina. Preaching of the gospel. An eternal predicament. Who will go? Who will preach the gospel? Who will win souls for me? Who will go when everyone does not want to go? God is saying, Whom shall I send? And again, again. Because once it's here on earth, it's a human responsibility. Let me tell you, all your relatives, all your friends, your neighbors will never eat, inherit eternal life unless there is a human who is ready to raise his hand and say, Lord, here I am. Send me. Let me go and preach to that woman and bring eternal life in their lives. Can I get an amen in this house? Let me tell you, you can backslide in other things and get away with it. But if we backslide in the area of soul winning, we are, baptized, we are, we are backsliding or from the real cause of the gospel. It's not about singing. It's not about what. One pastor, one pastor was... was separated himself to pray. He, he wrote a small book called When the Rope is About to Break. Because he, in his church, they were not growing. Some ch sometimes churches do not grow and that's obvious. 
Why don't churches grow? They don't grow because people do not win souls. We, we do the music, we, do the, we pay the bills, but we do not win souls. It's a lost day. Just like if you are dealing in spares. If there are no spares in that shop, then you are not dealing in spares. So this pastor was, was somewhere praying and he said, Lord, help me, your church is closing down. And the Lord said, what would I miss when it closes down? God on that feed watch can say we galau. Come on the same faces, same every day. Abalabi na yaba koi. The the Bible shows Jesus came to seek and to save that which is lost. Primarily, God is in the the business of winning souls. Are you in the house? We sing a lot. We we do everything in church, but let me tell you, primarily the most important thing before God is the soul you won. Amen? Now, in Kampala, we have what we call believer migration. Now, people who got saved 70 years ago, or maybe 20, have moved into 70 churches. They've been in that church, they've been in that church, they've been in that church. And when the church is filled up, they think the kingdom is growing. Kumbe, these are the old people who are not soul winners but very mobile. Are you getting what I'm saying? One preacher visited his friend here. He, 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 was, he was an American and he was visited by an American friend to come and see the fastest growing church. He invited them to come and see the fastest growing church. And the preacher, when he came, the visiting preacher, when he came, he said, friend, you're doing a good job. How did you win all these souls? He said, God has been on my side. Then he tells them, how many people are God saved under the ministry of this man? There are about five of them. There were five. Others were migrants. Now let me tell you, a nation cannot be changed on migrating congregations. The nation is changed when we win souls. <laughs> We win souls. Now God is saying, who, who shall I send? Who will go for us? The job is not for angels. The job, the job is not for the almighty God. There, there, there are beliefs. There is a, what we call, uh, there is a belief where they believe that, you know, the gospel is not universal. Its salvation is not universal. God does intend to save everyone but he intends to save a few and there are those who propagate that teaching saying God already knows who he wants to save and when the time comes for him to save them he will just call them and they come whether there is a preacher or not but then that's far from the truth otherwise why would God in his eternal setting say who shall I send who will go for us? Huh? And the Bible says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only God begotten son that whosoever believeth in him shall have eternal life. It means there is an element of people being convinced to believe if they are ever to come to God. Are you there? So the need of a preacher cannot be underrated. And now Isaiah is hearing God saying, whom shall I send? Who will go for us? Many years ago, I came to the Lord, 1981. That's when God delivered me from the powers of darkness. I always say, I first met him as a deliverer before he saved me. Because before I knew what, demons were flying out of my body. But then after my deliverance process, which took almost a week, I remember kneeling by my bed and saying, Lord, if you ever need a preacher, I'll be available. And I thought that was a joke. I mean, I thought God is already busy with so many preachers. Why would he pick someone like me? But I didn't know because listen, for me, by temperament, 
and people disagree with, with me many ways. I'm a very introverted person by original copy. I'm an introvert. I have the potential of keeping quiet. And you may not even know that I'm around. By temperament and creation, I'm shy. Believe it or not. Very shy, withdrawn, introverted person. I was brought up among brothers and sisters who are introverted and shy. So it means at home, we would be at home and you would not know that we are around. We would be in the house quiet. Now, some people say, but Pastor Michael, you seem to talk a lot. That is not me. <laughs> hmm? That is the modified me for this purpose. <clears throat> hmm? About shyness, God knows. But you know, when, when I prayed that prayer, I never believed God could use a person like me. First of all, everything you would need for a preacher, I do not have it. In my judgment, I do not have it. Now, when I was teaching in Masulita, 1988, teaching physics and chemistry, a voice told me, it is time my people are perishing. And now, People always ask me, was it in the ceiling? Was it not? Let me tell you, when God calls you, every cell in you tells you. When God is speaking to you, he doesn't need your ears. He can even speak to you through your toe. Everything in me that morning told me one thing. Put away this thing. It's time to preach the gospel. But I, telling her we are out. I'm out of work. And now the issue is the preaching of the gospel because God says his people are perishing. Let me tell you, that's where all the other dreams went. Everything left my life. And this is the cause on my life. People must be saved. It's been running. It's been running. Whom shall I send? God is looking for someone in this building. You've been running for years. And everywhere you sit, God is saying, whom shall I send? Who will go for me? Whom shall I send? Who will go for me? Kati... Njagalo oya ule chitu chimu. Katinze na itiwa mu full time ministry. Na yekwe katonda kuita kutegeza mawanga. Osanga cha kuitida. Aba mwaba hita mu full time ministry. Bie muna ya evyo tebitu kwata. Aba ntua mamu bagi na neba jambu wereza. Naga atuli wano mbuwereza njale tuluma. Ania kuita. Gende yuli ya kwekwe ya kuita. Mkama yeba zibwe. E njale ni mungiri. Abobola baba saba sente mungiri. Kankubudi ni njale ni mungiri. E rumo mubudizi Paka antama muwe bala luka <laughs> Na ye njiri ya ino kola chi Kuburi Only da yu na chimu maso gamu kama What will you take? Ogena munga mukama Ziza na obu julizi Onaku zino ndabo obu julizi bwa fe Obulaba kutivi Oku juli da yesu alokola O kujuli na yesu achusi zobu lamu. O kujuli na yesu akute kubulamu uvo na abu chusa. Techicha aliyo. Na yente kako tivi na mkama ne, yeba ziba abu luganda. Neba za katondo wa chifochino. O wa musumba ono. Eya juzi wa manyi ono. Eya kule chichi ono. 
ngira ngande to bujulizi buno kamfuka mire no kufuka mira musumba ono Twagala kumanya Yesu akoze muri mu kimubula mubo twagala kumanya Yesu biki byachusiza mbula mubo abajyo ligamba konti amina we are not here to exalt men we are here to preach the gospel you won't tell it why are we testifying and things are normal because we are testifying on what does not matter what matters is a life that has been changed the life that has had the gospel and come to Christ we do not mind what your pastor drives. It doesn't matter what he dresses like, where he has traveled to. Have you received the gospel? Wawudi de njiri. Njiri ya kuchusa. Oyizo kubane njiri. Nga wafune njiri entufu. Katonda na kola muomu di munosirika. Can you? Can you? I remember. I remember. Many, 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 many years ago, there was insecurity on the village where I was growing up. And it was required for all boy child to, to be part of the security of the village. And I remember when we sat in what they used to call then Mayumba Kumi, they, they picked out boys who were going to be doing rounds on, at night on some nights. And... Uh, me, my brothers, were selected for a night. I'm telling you that was insecurity. It wasn't security. Because I was more scared than anything. Nekati, olio mwami, eyali akulida patroya fe, ya tugamba. Mosirika, te mwenye inya, obera mwusiko sirika, Tugenze no msaji omu. Tuswami ya musiko. Nendo za nechi saka chari chinye nyakuanga. Tuwali tukanka no kamala. Eh? Saji ababisa mundu. Fetuli na busale. Hmm? Habamu tu inamigu. Na kasale tetumanyi kakubu. Eh, olio mwami. Ya gamba. Webaba angafe. Habakuma fetu itawo. Tujia kolola. <coughs> Mwremo tukubu. Instructions is very clear. Bobe eva kolola, abata ambula mkubo, webaba abafu. Webata kolola, sibafu. Hmm? Neo kutia. Hmm? Tuali mchisaka, ngatutide. Etu ulide vigere, ngabaja. Katione ya tuliku mambali. Na. Na kolola. <laughs> Siyari no kolola. Hei chitu. Chiri mkwe chiku kaka. Chimo kaka. Paka ya. <coughs> Alina aga neta. Ate simwe mkolola. E chitu chibe na muli mkwe. Ne chiku sindika. Oine njiri ya yesu webe ya mazima. Tosobo la jisidikira. Ewe na muli nge ya gala kuwakuza. Hallelujah. Katonda gama tumani. Who will go for me? I always tell you. One time I was going for an intro to, to visit my in-laws. Uh, some of my in-laws with my brother-in-law. And my brother-in-law told me, Michael, you know, you know, you know, you know, nga muka kasa tupu gatukenda tutu ke masaka tutu de tulide awo wona 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 kintu kiri muri kinyora bweje ni ndo babu rirengiri na yenkoze kati emere tujiri de tunyumiza pako msaja we agam eh kuchalo kuno kuri ka abantu oganira wali emanga Echo chamala. <laughs> Echa didi la kubaisa mungiri ya dachika kumitantano, kumitantano. Wetu afuruma mkodo miwa enangamba. Kati wa suvi zaachi. <laughs> Waka niteli kuburi dachi. Enjiri buwebanga ya kututemu undamuri. 
Yeremia agamba nti bwe nsirike etandi ko kumenya menya magumba ebango omuliro munze oba joli gamba konti amina toyinza kuba toyinza kubanga wafune enjiri yenyini no jibuti kila ne sirikira muri otokota ne weba mtulo ojibulira kubanga kino chetu afuna si cha bulijjo kubanga kino chetu afuna cha veri katonda kubanga kino chetu afuna Chiri kasesa agamba Haniana tugendera Haniana tubuli lile njiri Haniana agamba bantu Timu jeje ndi gamba konti amina Who shall I send? Who will go for us? The gospel must be preached Souls must be won But how will souls come to the Lord? When the church is quiet, God is saying, who will go? Who will go? Some of us were sent long time ago. We even know the people God told us to win to the Lord. And we are scared, trembling. The gospel must be preached. Souls must be won. And you and me are candidates of this call. Now, how far have we fallen? We have fallen so far that a Christian goes through a year without winning one soul. Omaka kujugu wako ngato wangude. Atengo, oba sabi da busi. No yo mosabi de mokama. No yo mosabi de kankuburi de. Katonda tano nyaba sabi boka. Ano nyaba antu. Aba na mugendela. Okugamba aba ntubona. Nti echisera chechino. Echo kuloko ka. Tuweba za mukama. Oruaba ntuaba imiri na mukubo liyafe. Neba gamba nti olaga wa waloko ka. Wawayobu la mubweli yesu. Omwaka kwa chinana mugumu. Omusaje yambu ulirenjiri ya liyamba de t-shirti. Na mpaliri zo kujeri katonda. Na chuso mula mwangebu na. Neba za katondo romburi ziwe njiri. Eya imi lina mkubori ya. Jesus says we should go and preach. To all mankind. Actually to all creation. That's what Mark chapter 16 verse 16 says. And St. Francis even used to preach to trees and everything. It means all creation needs the gospel. Needs the gospel. May God break everything in me that thinks that there is anything else I can do apart from preaching the gospel. Let me put the gospel to the top. Kuburi Ranjiri, Chechi Soka, Evidala Nevidirira. Some people have not preached the gospel because they are scared. Eh? Hundi oyo mutia, hundi njakuntia, njababu urida bagani. But you know, we see people selling things on the road. Boldly. Obutuwa we mese. Akamasu. Chifuba. Gwete babi kuza. Wali uo mwami. Zene unyane business. Atunda vest. Aina vest ya mu. Na ya jitambuza. Doa to doa. One vest. Selling one vest to the village. Can't we sell Jesus? Can't we go door to door and tell them about Jesus? Can't we share? And then no. Aba muku mwemwari temuna loko. Nga muku wanaburi chimu. Budi aitao, mkwa gade. Nawe ne mkwa gala. Nawe ne mkwa gala. Katito inza kuchichu sana chifuka. Nawe yesu wa kwa gala. Nawe yesu wa kwa gala. Nawe yesu wa kwa gala. Can't we change the message? Obo kuba munga lukuba. Obo sanyukira yesu sanyuka. Enjiri ino kubu uliruwa. Odina potenshe wangula. E mioyo wobo ina potensho. E tunde bintu biotunda. Oli walina ne potenshe kwa ne chalo. You can 
win souls to, the, to Christ. Everyone can win souls to Christ. In conclusion, the word, whom shall I send, who will go for us, should not come out of a God who is able to do all things. Unless that is a designated responsibility. Hmm? Unless he chose by his power that I will not do this. It is others who will do it. Who will go for me? God who is everywhere is looking for who will go for him because it's our responsibility. There are people who are going to perish because we never went. Huh? Many years ago, a man cooked food for his family, extended family. Actually, all his brothers, uncles, aunties, he threw a big dinner, a big, a big lunch. And he told me, Pastor, I'm inviting you to come and speak to my family concerning generational curses. And he threw a, a lunch. And I arrived on time. And he told me, Pastor, generational curses. Number <laughs> Family ye yona yona ya jipangira erokoke tutu sokuva mukuri obuli sente tutandiko kupanga opangira omwoye ngeri je guna lokokamu ha eh? obo gutwala autu ogutwale autu ngana ekuja kumaliriza nga guli in the kingdom Ah. Eh? Ebyo kulia sente ne tuzidia buli ebyo tubiteke bali sente zigenda mukubuli rachi enjiri adimaliriza banayi njakuogena pakancha 